This is completely nutso. Um, I've been trying to shower for one hour and 45 minutes in this bathroom and have had to keep jumping out because the water goes from blazing hot to ice cold to blazing hot to ice cold every few minutes and I am not touching the knob on it. I have left two voicemails for the Greenville group regarding the fact that they are refusing to provide functioning hot water to a common bathroom on the fourth floor of their building. Obviously, they don't do anything. They're completely criminally negligent Russian slumlords who basically are Russian mafias. I've been informed by multiple people over the last year and a half, and they refuse to make any repairs or to fix anything. And they have admitted to using a career criminal who is a psychopath, a sex offender, and a hacker named Jasmine Irizarry to engage in a lot of harassment towards tenants they don't like. I mean, they've actually admitted this. This isn't my imagination. It's been my direct and personal experience over 10 years that Jasmine Irizarry, who herself has admitted to contaminating the water to my unit in writing on social media, is responsible for most of the malfunction and dysfunction that I keep experiencing as a tenant in this building. So for two hours now, uh, the hot water in this shower has been intermittently cutting out every couple of minutes, and it is not a hot water shortage because the bathroom on the other side of this floor has plenty of hot water. I actually tested it um, the first time I had to jump out of this shower. So it's not the floor. It's the bathroom. There's also been somebody on the other side of this shower wall right here smacking and banging the wall and the fact that this is a um, common bathroom suggests that uh, Irizarry is completely off the rails insane. I mean, she's not just limiting her water tampering and contamination activities as she has admitted to doing in my bathroom. She's not limiting it to my bathroom. She's not doing this in the common bathrooms where it affects multiple people, not just myself. So that knob right there has not been touched. It's been, this is the medium water setting for temperature on this shower knob. All right. And it has been flipping the water, not the, uh, not the knob. The water to the shower head has been flipping around from hot to cold to hot to cold every couple of minutes. And I've noticed over the last two hours that it is based on what I try to do under it. Jasmine Arizari is a severely psychotic psychopath that makes any sense. And she's also a malignant sex offender. And she likes to harass people when they try to use the bathroom. She engages in a lot of uh, aggressive wall banging and slamming directly behind the wall of my toilet in my bathroom. When I try to use that toilet, she's been doing that for 10 years. Um, and now that I've stopped using my bathroom, there's a tremendous amount of wall banging and slamming in the bathroom that's behind this wall right here, which is the bathroom of a unit that appears to have been recently vacated. Irizarry is very good at picking locks, as she has demonstrated to picking the lock to my own unit on multiple occasions while I've been in my unit. So the fact that the evidently recently vacated premises of the bathroom behind this wall now has somebody that's doing a lot of slamming and banging behind this wall suggests Irizarry is, you know, accessing the vacant premises of the bathroom behind this wall. She does that to the bathroom behind my toilet and my shower in my own unit constantly. She accesses the permanently vacant premises of her own bathroom located in Unit 78 um, on a regular basis. Unit 78 housed Jasmine Irizarry officially between 2013 and 2022, and Mr. Alyssa, of the property manager, admitted that he moved Irizarry out of Unit 78 in 2022, but continues to house her in this building. And he has been keeping Unit 78 strangely vacant and empty continuously since 2022 up until now. For some strange reason, there's a housing crisis in Boston, and yet he's keeping a large unit with its own bathroom located behind my bathroom, vacant and empty. I'm not sure why he would do that. But what I do know is that Irizarry, the psychopath who lived in Unit 78 for 10 years, continues to access the vacant premises of her former bathroom. Now that I'm in the common bathroom down the hall, she seems to be doing that to the bathroom on the other side of this wall, which has also recently been vacated and seems to have become empty by somebody who just moved out a couple of weeks ago. Now the hot water is flipping from hot to cold to hot to cold every few minutes. And this has been going on for two hours. 
um, of Left Two Voicemails for the Greenville Group. And the tip off that this is Jasmine Irizarry doing this is that as soon as I started removing my t-shirts and shorts that I usually shower in for privacy, because there's obviously surveillance devices, not just in my bathroom, as I've been informed by dozens of people at this point, but in this bathroom as well, evidently, she started resuming her use of some type of directed energy device to electronically assault me every single time I removed an item of clothing over the last hour and a half while standing in the shower with the lights off. That is how you know that this is Irizarry Greenville's career psycho scum asswipe ghetto filth sex offender hate stalking career criminal because she uses a directed energy device to let people know that she is doing something towards them and that she is in the area. She's been doing this since 2018, and she has admitted in writing on social media to using a directed energy device, telling me, oh, it's not even that strong. What are you complaining about? She's right, it's not. If it was stronger than it is, I would probably be in the hospital. A directed energy device, for people who don't know what I'm talking about, is any kind of electronic device that harnesses naturally occurring electromagnetic output from cell phones, tablets, laptops, and routers, and concentrates that electromagnetic output into a directed stream that can then be aimed at people, places, and things to cause them harm or to somehow cause them to malfunction or dysfunction. So over the last hour and a half, while I've been standing in the shower, jumping in and out of the cold and hot alternating uh, shower water and trying to remove clothing so I can effectively shower, Irizarry has literally blasted me with her directed energy device every single time I've tried to remove an item of clothing while standing here in the dark. This means that there are absolutely surveillance devices in this bathroom. And because multiple Greenville staffers have referred to Green, to, sorry, multiple Greenville staffers has, have referred to Jasmine Irizarry over the last few years as their surveillance expert then what I am saying about the surveillance devices in the common bathroom is certainly not a stretch of the imagination. That's how you know you're dealing with a very mentally disturbed sex offender, psychopath, and cyber criminal, which is exactly what the Boston police have informed me multiple times over the last few years that Jasmine Irizarry is, and that Oleg Alisayev, her handler at the Greenville Group, has bragged about her ability to get into anything and take care of any problem, as he put it. So right now I can't shower. The water is intermittently ice cold and blazing hot. And it seems to be based on what I try to do under that shower. You have to get into the mind of a psychopath to understand why they do certain things. Psychopaths are often very intelligent because they're able to blend into society and fool everyone into thinking that they're normal. Look at Ted Bundy. He was an attorney who wrote anti-rape pamphlets for his local police department while raping and murdering dozens of women. Okay, so that is a psychopath, folks. Jasmine Irizarry is a known psychopath, according to Mr. Oleg Lisayev, other people at the Greenville Group, and the Boston Police Department. And she likes to tamper with water that I try to use to shower to clean myself because she has a problem with other females and specifically with the body parts of other females. So when I do try to rinse out certain pri private body parts but not others, that is when that water becomes blazing hot all of a sudden so that I have to burn my... Um, body parts when I'm trying to rinse them, and then it becomes ice cold as soon as I jump out. That is a psychopath, folks. And because I've been trying to shower in the shower for two hours now, and Greenville still has not uh, responded to my voicemails, I have to leave them another one. I mean, forget about my plans for this evening, which is probably exactly what the hate-stalking, psycho-scum, rejected asswipe named Jasmine Irizarry wants. Every time I take a shower, there's some type of malfunction or dysfunction that prevents me from being able to take a shower in a timely manner and get out of here in a timely manner. That seems to be the whole point. Hello, you're Bruce the Greenville Real Estate Group. Our office hours are from 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. Our office is Monday <sighs> Club. If this is an emergency, please press 1. Otherwise, press 2 to leave a voice. 725. Jesus Christ. 725. Number, so we may get back to you Hi there. Um, it is now 7.25 p.m. on Tuesday, September 10th. I'm still standing in the common bathroom on the fourth floor of your five Union Ave building and have been trying to shower in that common bathroom for two hours now and have been unable to do so because you guys are refusing to provide 
functioning hot and cold water in this bathroom that is on the north facing side of this floor. The water to the other bathroom appears to be perfectly fine because when I did go in there, um, after I had to jump out of this shower for the 10th time, I checked the water in the bathroom on the other side of this floor and that water was functioning perfectly well. So this is not a problem that is affecting the entire floor or even affecting the other bathroom. This is a problem that is unique to the bathroom that I happen to be trying to use right now and it has been going on for two hours. This is not a hot water outage because the hot water is intermittently cutting out and is going from hot to ice cold to hot to ice cold every couple of minutes. And it seems to be based on what body parts I'm trying to rinse out under that water. As you know, Jasmine Arizeri is a psychopath, sex offender, and cyber criminal who you guys have referred to as your surveillance expert, who obviously is using surveillance devices in the common bathrooms of this building, not just in the bathroom of my unit. And because she's a sex offender, she literally gets off on watching people use the facilities in the various bathrooms where she herself has obviously placed surveillance devices and likes to engage in some very disruptive, harmful behavior based on what she can see people doing in these common bathrooms as she has been doing to me in my own bathroom for 10 years now. Irizarry continues to be housed in this building, according to her handler, Mr. Oleg Lisayev, who informed me during a personal conversation last year that he did move her out of Unit 78, which is now permanently vacant and empty, but he continues to house her in this building. And Irizarry likes to use a directed energy device on me to electronically assault me when I try to use various toilets and showers in the various bathrooms of this building. And now I know that there's surveillance devices, not just in my own bathroom, but in this common bathroom as well, because when I try to rinse out certain body parts under the shower, the water suddenly goes blazing hot. And when I've removed clothing while standing under the shower, Irizarry has used her, her directed energy device to electronically assault me each time I've removed a certain item of clothing while standing under the shower, if that makes any sense. Um, I am a little bit disturbed right now because I've been trying to shower for two hours and the water cannot be used consistently and safely without either getting burned or then frozen every couple of minutes by your psychopath, Jasmine Irizarry, who you continue to obviously allow to to basically affect the safety and usability of the water to this building, not just to my unit, as she has admitted to doing on social media, but to this entire floor and to the building as well. I am recording this voicemail for legal purposes, and I will be following up with a written notification to you and your attorneys and additional court action because no psychopath should be permitted by a management company to contaminate and tamper with the tap water, not just to somebody's unit, but to the common bathrooms in multiple floors. That is a crime, and it is a federal crime punishable by $50,000 and 20 years in prison, and you guys are responsible for this. Absolutely unreal. Why am I getting electronically assaulted while I'm standing here talking about Jasmine Arizuri? Because she's a hacker who has hacked into my devices. She's a surveillance expert who uses surveillance devices as multiple staffers at the Greenville Group have informed me that she is very talented at doing. And she is a structural engineer, as she claims to be on social media, who, as she put it herself, gets paid to solve problems. Apparently, one of those problems is having tap water that actually works and is safe to use because for two hours now, I've been trying to shower and not just, you know, jump out every two minutes and I've been unable to do that. This is unbelievable. But you know what? When your landlord is a criminal Russian slumlord, that is Russian mafia, as I've been informed by several people now, who is using a career psychopath, a registered sex offender, and a hacker, all the same person named Jasmine Arizuri, to engage in some very harmful criminal harassment of tenants that they don't like, who happen to be female, um, then all bets are off and anything is possible. The Greenville Group rents almost exclusively to minority males who are sex offenders and career criminals, and you can look that up. Maybe some of their records have been sealed because they're criminally insane, such as Kevin, the masturbating nut job next door to me in Unit 88. But you can probably see the career uh, records, the career criminal records of individuals such as Charles Thomas and Wenner Rodriguez, who both have physically assaulted me in and around this building and who Greenville have defended in court. So 
So that's a fact. They love male career criminal thugs, and they basically have problems with females as evidenced by the fact that they have pretty much gotten rid of all the females that live in this building and then allow a lot of harassment and assault to take place against the few females who actually remain. I am one of them. And this keeps happening, and I keep having to record it. Right now, Greenville is going to have a massive water bill because I can't use the shower without having to jump out every two minutes. Because again, Jasmine Arizari, Greenville's sponsored career psychopath asswipe, is directly affecting the water to this shower head, as she has admitted to doing in the bathroom in my unit, um, and has bragged about how she's been doing that herself.